Welcome my friends, nice having you again. And in this video, we'll be looking at the solution to question 11b, a typical vectors and matrices question. Here it states, L and M are two matrices where L is equal to 3, 2, 1, 4, and M is equal to negative 1, 3, 0, 2. Now here they're asking us to evaluate in part 1, L plus 2M. Now this is pretty easy. Let's just quickly get into it. L is the matrix, so let, since they're asking us to evaluate the matrix, L plus 2M, basically all I'm going to be doing is to substitute the matrices. L is 3, 2, 3, 2, 1, 4, okay? And the matrix, I'm adding to that the matrix 2 times, 2 times M. The matrix 2M is simply negative 1, 3. The matrix M, rather, is negative 1, 3, 0, 2. Okay? Now, let's just quickly pull this up so we can have a little bit more space to work with. All right? That seems to be pretty good. Now, if you notice, the first thing that I'm doing, I'll be multiplying the matrix M by a scalar quantity of 2. It simply means I'm going to be doubling this matrix, okay? So this implies, my friends, this implies that I would have my matrix. I'm just going to take by down my matrix 3, 2, 1, 4, and then I'm adding to that. But if you notice, what I'm going to be doing, I'm just going to be doubling each value in the, each of these value in the matrix M. So I would have for this 2 times negative 1, that will give us a negative 2. 2 times 3, that would give us a 6. At 2 times 0 is 0. 2 times 2, and that is a 4. And there we go we have multiplied our matrix now when adding or subtracting matrices uh, once the matrices are of the same order if you notice this is a two by two matrix meaning i have two rows rows run across and columns run vertically all right so i have one two rows and one two columns okay so when adding or subtracting matrices once they, the matrices are of the same order it is possible so here what i'm going to be doing i'm going to be simply matching corresponding values for example the three that i have here i'm going to add it to the negative two that i have there in the same position top left hand corner so three minus two so let me just let me just work it out here just to show you what is happening I would be saying 3 plus my negative 2 okay my negative 2 that's basically what I'll be doing then I'll be taking my 2 that I have at the top right hand corner and I'm going to match it with the 6 there so basically I would be saying 2 plus positive 6 all right and then I'm going to simply take my my positive one there and I'm just going to simply add it to the zero that's in the same position this positive one with that zero so I'll have one plus zero and then obviously I'm going to take the four and I'm going to multiply it by sorry I'm going to add it to four okay so that's basically what you're doing you're adding corresponding values now this implies that my answer should be in the form uh, 3 this is 3 plus negative 2 is the same as 3 minus 2 so for this value I would have a 1 then I would have 2 plus 6 that would give us an 8 and 1 plus 0 is 1, 4 plus 4 is another 8, okay? So that's our answer. It's pretty much that easy, okay? Now let's look at part 2. Now part 2 is asking us to multiply L times M. So let's quickly just let's look at that again. So up here we are saying in part 2, let's, this was part 1. Let's just make a quick note. And this is part 2, okay? That's part 2. Let's just split the screen a bit. So we have an L here, multiplying an M there. So simply again, all I'm going to be doing, I'm just going to be simply substituting these values. So for M, the matrix M, which we have here at the top left-hand corner, which is 3, 2, 1, 4, okay? And we're multiplying now. Let's just change the color. We're saying this is being multiplied by the matrix negative 1, 3, 0, 
two okay now basically when uh, multi and if you notice these matrix these two matrices that we have here is two two by two matrix so basically this is two rows the first matrix one two rows and two columns running vertically second matrix is the same okay so we have two and let me just show you a neat little trick two two by two matrix so we have a two by two matrix which is the first matrix and the second matrix is also a two by two matrix two by two matrix now when multiplying matrices are uh, these two values okay the two values here since i have a two by two matrix times a two by two matrix this these two values here if they should always be the same this tells us that the multiplication is possible okay if these two values aren't the same then it is not possible to multiply these two matrix okay so these two values tells us that the, the multiplication is possible now the values at the at the end these two values the two here and the two out here will tell us the order of the matrix that will answer the order that that matrix will be in so obviously we are going to be getting a two by two matrix for our answer so quickly let's just move now when multiplying matrices you're multiplying row by column okay and i'm just going to simply walk you through this basically what i'm doing i'm taking my three here i'm using the first row here if you notice I have a 3 and a 2 so I'm just going to multiply that by my first column okay so this row is going to be used to multiply that column and that's just the the sequence I'll be going in so I'm saying first 3 times negative 1 so let me just make a note of that first I said 3 times negative 1 and then I'm simply saying 2 times 0 so I'm adding to that 2 times 0 okay then I've used this row to multiply this column. Now I'm going to use the same row again, my friends, this same row. Now, if you notice, I use another color. I'm using that same row to multiply this column over here. Okay, so again, I'm going to say three times three now, and that result, I'm going to place it at the end there. So I'm saying three, this three times that three. So three times three, and I'm adding to that, I'm simply saying this two now times the two at the bottom, okay? So I'm saying two times two, and that's just the order that we'll be going in, all right? So let's just close this bracket. Now I've used this row at the top to multiply the two columns. Now I'm going to repeat the process with the row at the bottom, all right? So I'm going to be using this row now to multiply those two columns also, all right? So first I'm saying one times negative one. That's what I'm saying, one times my negative one. And I'm simply saying now four times zero. And I'm adding to that four times zero, okay? And then simply, I'm just going over here and I'm simply saying one now times my positive three up top. So this is one times three, and then I'm saying four times the two there, okay? So I'm adding to that four times two, okay, my friends? Now, basically what I did is I just repeated it, the steps up top using this row to multiply these two columns there, all right? So here now I would have open bracket. I have a three times negative one that will give us a negative three, 2 times 0, that's a 0, okay? So negative 3 plus 0. I'm saying here now, 3 times 3, that would give us a 9. And I'm saying I'm adding to that 2 times 2, which is 4, okay? And then at the bottom here, I have 1 times negative 1, that's a negative 1. And I'm adding to that 4 times 0, which is 0. And here now, my friends, I have a 1 times 3, which is 3 and I have plus 4 times 2 which will give us an 8 so let's just close this now so basically we can just go ahead and simplify this pretty much pretty quickly so by this now we have a negative 3 plus 0 you know that that will give us a negative 3 we have a 9 plus 4 and that would give us a 13 a 13 and this is a negative 1 plus 0 and we'll have a negative 1 there and 3 plus Eight will give us a positive 11 okay so that's pretty much it that's how you multiply uh, two matrix 
matrices of the same of the same order. Now if you notice we have in for our answer the type of matrix that we have is a two by two matrix and this is simply what I meant when I said that the two values on the outside will represent the type of matrix that we'll be getting for our answer.